So here I am in Lund, Celevision Cup, and in front of me I have Alexei Shirov. Hello, Alexei. Hello. So uh, you have just finished the last round, and uh, so far you're in the lead. Uh, what happened in the last game? Well, um, I felt that uh, I wasn't mentally prepared to fight very hard because, uh, you know, um, the round starts shortly after the previous round, the previous game. First, I didn't know who would be my opponent. Then I understood that it would be Krakwin, but I couldn't figure out whether I would be white or black. So I prepared a little bit for the black color, and then I saw that I'm playing white, and it's okay. Somehow it wasn't uh, that easy to force myself for some big, big fight. And uh, he played the most solid opening he could find, and okay, it's. Uh, you said before. It's a the... moment I just felt like, uh, yeah. Like but you said before this interview that you, you didn't want to push your luck. What oh, do you mean in, with that? Uh, yeah, in a way it, it's also true because yesterday when I played against Torbjörn Harnsen, I had a very dangerous position, maybe objectively close to losing and at the end I even managed to win that game in the end game. Then I was also very lucky that Michal Marin, who is normally extremely solid player, is white, but he somehow collapsed in 20 moves. Uh, yeah, it's a crazy game, yes. And today, um, also, uh, my opponent played quite well until a certain moment, and, and then he just made one single mistake, after which uh, the game became winning for me. But if he played the right move, then I would probably have to fight for draws. So, so my feeling was that, uh, that the result I had was not at all deserved. And okay, and I thought I should uh, uh, better think why I'm getting some some strange or even dangerous positions rather than why I'm winning the games. So. I see. This is the third time you're here in Lund playing this tournament. How come this seems to be one of your favorites? Um, well, um, well, the atmosphere here is very nice uh, because actually I like open tournaments with a lot of uh, chess uh, amateurs, uh, I mean, real chess society. And uh, okay, I basically just like everything here. So. Thanks. Okay, so um, now uh, you're, s before this interview you said that you still consider you as a player but you don't play so many uh, long games anymore it seems. Mm. Well, How come? I, don't know. I think that uh, uh, chess should be more, um, uh, more rapid these days uh, because of very many reasons. And, uh, I think it's, uh, I think also for the, um, you know, for, for the contact between amateurs and uh, professionals, I think rapid system is uh, is much more interesting. Okay, the Swedish system of four rapids and four uh, long games can be interesting too. But in general, for example, to play nine rounds opens, uh, nine days opens, I just don't like it in general. Uh, so, and of course, uh, I'm not getting really, really good invitations these days, either, so... Okay, so that's why you choose to play more rapid games than, yeah. than long games. So what's your next tournament after this? Well, after this actually I'm playing <laughs> a random uh, Open uh, in Spain, in Pontevedra with nine rounds, but okay, I think it's it goes uh, in six days, but not something I especially like, but okay, they, they made some kind of invitation, and uh, I have not played tournaments in Galicia, so... Why not? Why not? Okay, will you come back next year? To Lund. To Lund? I hope. Of course, it's, it, it has become one of my tur favorite tournaments. Maybe I should try to think how to score seven and a half at this tournament. If three times scoring seven, I should think, uh, think it over, so maybe seven points are not enough. Who knows? But if I start thinking too much like that, I would score less than seven. We'll see. <laughs> but okay, it's, uh, it's one year from now. Thank you very much. Mm.